Hi, I'm Brian with Pioneer Builders. I'm a second generation builder, and this channel is devoted to all things design, construction, operations, and maintenance. In the conclusion of the video, I'll talk more about all of the integration that had to happen for this, but this video is going to talk about the Panasonic Whisper Comfort ERV. In another video, I'll do a, uh, an explanation of what an ERV is, but an ERV is an enthalpy recovery ventilator or an energy recovery ventilator is another way that you can say that. Basically, as we're building our houses tighter and tighter in order to be more energy efficient, we aren't getting as much infiltration of outside air for the occupants. And just think about it. If you're in a closet breathing in and out, eventually you're recycling that air, your body is changing the makeup of that gas. That's not a good thing. We want to make sure that we have good air so that our bodies operate the way they were designed to. So what we did on this house is we installed two of these ERVs. And if you go ahead and follow me, I'll show you where we located this one. We came right into the hallway. We have supply and return ducts up above, but now if you direct your eyes upward, you can see the grill for that. So we're going to go through the grill what that entails, even looking at it from the inside. And then we'll look at the ERV, where the outside air comes in, where it supplies the house, then when, where it extracts from the, app, uh, from the inside of the house, and then really that ends up uh, discharging outside of the house. We'll also show you the controls on the inside here. And then we'll wrap up with an explanation of some of the coordination that has to happen if you're going to put one of these in. There's a little bit of maintenance involved too. So I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get right into it. So first, what I wanna do is show you the grill. Because of this being an ERV, we've got a return and a supply. This portion here is the return side. So it's gonna draw air from inside the house. This is the supply side. So this is actually where the air comes out. You can pull this down, I'll do it from this side, and then just let it hinge over here. This then is kind of a filter to protect the enthalpy core. Um, and then again, now you can see from in here, this is where the supply is. Now let's take a couple of minutes and go through this unit from the inside here. Okay, so from here we'll kind of follow the airstream. It comes through this filter, and you can see it actually needs to be cleaned. So we'll go ahead and get that done. But this was the filter that I was talking about from the return side. So the air passes through this filter and then this is the actual enthalpy core. So let's go ahead and pull that out. I turned that knob. And that's where the special stuff happens. So the air passes through here for the outside air, comes through here, and then it comes out this area into this spot, which is the supply, which corresponds to this. For the return side, uh, it comes out through here and passes through on its way out. We'll go ahead and reinstall that guy. One other thing I'll show you over on this portion, you'll have to get up and in it, but this is where the electrical connects up in there. So that's our little walkthrough of the system from this side. Now let's take a minute and just go through how we wired this up or how it's controlled. So what I did is if you come around in here, you'll see the switches. I tried to make it as easy as possible for a homeowner. So on the right side, it's just a toggle switch up and down for on off, and then 20 and 40 CFM. Go ahead and move that up so that we can see the uh, fan and see if you can hear that turn on. I'll be very quiet. So again, basically at the upper left is where the supply is, and then the extract air is in the upper right. Now we'll go ahead and turn it up to 40 CFM and you'll see what that sound is.
I'll go ahead and leave that on while I conclude the video. The fact of the matter is, we tried to be very quiet so that you could hear it, but this is designed for continuous ventilation. Even at 40 CFMs, you're really not going to hear it very much. You want to have that quietness to it, but it doesn't have to be completely silent. Now what we did for this particular house is we've got a ducted mini split that services this upper floor. So what this ends up doing is working in tandem with that. So we're drawing the air in, we're extracting air, but what we're planning on doing is having the ducted system really distribute that air through this upper portion. There were three levels on this home, uh, kind of a complicated one. Really a whole house ERV just wasn't gonna cut it. So we did two ERVs, one in the basement and then one for up here. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Some easy serviceability here. I have to say, it's nice having this ERV in the hallway. You just pop up, vacuum a couple of spots, and you'll be pretty well good to go. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I'm a second generation builder, Brian with Pioneer Builders. This channel is devoted to all things design, construction, operations, maintenance. This is a little bit of all, all of that. You had to design the system in there. You had to build it. Uh, there's a lot of little interactions. You've got to think about framing. In this case, you had to think about roofing, where the supply and extract goes, making sure you had minimum separations. You had to think about wiring. Where do you put the switches? How do you control how much of the uh, CFMs you're actually going to be moving? So there's a lot that went in there to the building side and the planning side. And then of course, there's the operations. You want it to be running continuously. And then the maintenance. These little filters have to be cleaned periodically. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a like, subscribe to the channel. I'm also over on Instagram. Uh, pretty much daily I'm posting something there about the process of building. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.